Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So a very exciting update from the side of Prefusion that we are launching test series tracker now. Yesterday we launched gate EC preparation tracker and gate electrical preparation tracker. Today we are launching test series tracker which can be used by everyone. Whether you are from EC, electrical, instrumentation, CS, mechanical, civil, chemi chemical, whatever the branch you are currently preparing for, you can use this test series tracker. So I will tell you how to utilize this test series tracker. But yesterday we launched gate electrical preparation tracker and gate EC preparation tracker. So how you can utilize these trackers that I have already made, okay? The video I have already made that how you can utilize, how you can make use of these trackers. So here I have given the syllabus completion weightage to 60%, weightage to previous year questions 20% and weightage to test series 20%, okay? And whatever the entry that you are putting that will be saved in your local browser. So that thing also I explained. So everything about these trackers I have already explained in our previous video yesterday that I made this video, okay? And in the comment section, some people we were talking about a CSE tracker that sir make this kind of tracker for CSE students as well. So what I have thought for CSE student that I will tell you in the end. In the end of this video, I will tell you what I have thought for CSE student. How they can make that tracker, how we can make the tracker for CSE students as well. But as of now, let's talk about test series tracker, which is helpful for all the branches. So what you can do here, you can put the test name. Let's just say in any website, I, I am attempting the test from coaching institute X. I attempted the test of coaching institute, coaching institute X, the test name was aptitude. So what I can do, I just put aptitude, it was of 30 marks and I got 15 marks out of it. So I can simply add it. So you can see that out of 30, I have got 15 marks and this pie chart has been, uh, has been appearing on the screen along with that whatever the entry that I have made that is also available here. Okay. Let's just say next test that I attempted was mathematics and it was of 50 marks and I obtained 33 marks. So what I can do add test. So another section for the mathematics have been made and whatever the entry that I have put that also have been reflected here. Now let's just say again I attempted aptitude. Again I attempted aptitude and this time it was over 60 marks and I obtained 33.33 marks. So now you can see in another section for aptitude was not created because one aptitude test you have already attempted another aptitude test you are attempting. So total for 90 marks, you have attempted aptitude test, 30 plus 60, 90 marks. Out of these 90 marks, you have got 47.33 marks. So out of 90, you have got 47.33. So roughly around 50% you are getting. So this has been reflected here. Okay. So your performance in aptitude is 53.70. No matter on whichever the site you are attempting the test, wherever you are attempting the test, it doesn't care about that. Just make sure that if the name of the first test was aptitude, again, I am attempting for aptitude only. So I will put the same name. Now let's just say I started giving full length test. Okay. So what I will do, I will put a full length. So another section for the full length will also be made. This time from 100 marks, I got 40 marks only. So I will add a test here from 100 to 40. So in full length, you are getting 100 to uh, from out of 100, you got 40 marks. Let's just say again, I attempt one more full length test. So I will make sure that the name is same full length or let's just say mistakenly, I put the name as L E N T H. I did a mistake here. Okay. And out of those 100, I got 40 mark, 50 marks. So what will happen? Another section of a full length will be made. But I wanted this test, I wanted this data to go into this particular data, right? Because this was my performance in the full length test. So this was an error from my side. So what I can do, I can delete it. So this full length I want to delete it. So I can delete it from here. So that data has been deleted. So again I can put in the full length. Again, what I will do? Sir, full length. In this full length, out of 100, I got how much marks? I got 50 marks. So add. So this has been added here. So in the full length, you are performing 45%. Mathematics, you are performing 66%. Aptitude, you are performing 53.70%. So in that manner, the data will keep on compiling up. And whatever the entries that you are putting here, that will also be compiling up. Now, even if you refresh it, or if you come back, like let's just say I delete this site and the, again I come back. Okay. I close this browser and again I come back or I simply refresh it. Then also the, this data will be stored here. In your local browser, this data will be stored for a particular device. Let's just say I have opened this device. I have opened this website or web page in our, in my device that is my mobile. So I, I have opened this web page in my mobile. So whatever the data that, that I am putting here in this mobile, that will also be stored in the mobile only. 
Are you able to understand this point? Even if I refresh it, let's just say I click on refresh. So look, this has been refreshed, but whatever the data that you have put, that has been stored here. Now let's just say I'm changing my device. I have put my data in this laptop, but uh, now I am changing my laptop. I have brought a new new laptop. So what I can do? I can simply click on this export data. So whatever the data that you have put, that will be downloaded. In your PC only, the data has been downloaded. Now you can transfer this data. That you, you just now saw that there is one fine file has been downloaded. So you can transfer this file from this PC to your new PC, right? And now you can log in into your new, new PC. No, you don't need to log in. You can simply go to this website again. And in this new PC, what you will click on, you will click on this import data. Once you click on this import data, then where you can go, you can go to your download section. Yeah, we are currently at download section only. And you can directly click on this particular file that has been downloaded. So this file was downloaded. Now what will happen is that, okay, first thing is that I will erase everything. Let's just say everything has been erased. So if I open the website, in the new PC, then this is how it will look like, right? If I open the website in the new PC, then this is how it will look like. But I know that some data I have already put in this particular website or on this particular web page, right? So that data I need to import. So what I will do, I will click on this import data and I will click on this particular file, which was transferred from the older PC to the new PC. So I will click on here and everything that was stored previously that has been loaded here again. So you don't need to put it again and again. Basically, whatever the data that you are putting, if you are not changing your device, then it will be automatically stored. If you are changing your device and you want to transfer this data from one device to the another device, then you can simply export it. Then whatever the file that has been downloaded, just transfer that particular file from the older device to the new device and click on import data. From the older device, whatever the file that you have transferred, just click on this import data and all the data from the older device will be loaded here. So every feature that a student would demand that is already available here, right? So is that clear to you? This is how you can make use of this uh, test series tracker. So no matter in whichever the site you are attempting the test. So collectively, you will be able to know that how you are performing in aptitude, mathematics, full length. You can write down any other test as well. Let's just say I'm writing down digital logic. So collectively, you would know that how you are performing in digital logic. It was a 50 marks question paper and I obtained 30 marks. So in that manner, another pie chart would be made. Is that clear to you? Okay, so by the end of your preparation, you would be able to see that in which test you are performing in which manner. And from here and only you would be able to know that which date, uh, like in which of the subject I am actually lagging. This was, this is the one thing. Now let's talk about the gate CS preparation tracker. So can you see our preparation tracker? Let's just say I talk about electrical preparation tracker. So here what I have done, like uh, Network analysis is of 6% weightage, weightage, signal system 6% weightage, analog electronics 3% weightage, weightage for electrical prevention tracker. So this particular weightage I don't know, no, right? I don't know for CS how much weightage is there for a particular subject. There are subjects uh, like computer network, COA, DBMS, uh, C programming. So that weightage I don't know. Either an educator can tell that weightage or a gate ranker can tell that particular weightage. Those who are currently preparing, they cannot tell the weightage. So what you guys need to do is that you get in touch with some gate ranker or some gate educator, show them this website or this web page that this kind of a tracker you guys want. What you need to do is that you just need to write down a message telling what is the weightage of that particular subject. Just give me that particular message. I will make the tracker. I will arrange some time. I will make the tracker for you guys. You don't need to worry about that. But I just want that how much weightage is there for a particular subject. Let's just say that subject is introduction to C. So how much weightage is there? How much weightage is there for digital logic? How much weightage is there for computer organization? How much weightage is there for DBMS? How much weightage is there for computer networks? So all these weightage I need. But make sure that syllabus completion is getting 60% weightage, 20% weightage is there for previous year questions and 20% weightage is there for test series. Okay. So in any examination, whether it is for CS or it is for EC, 20% weightage will be given to test series, 20% weightage will be given to PYQs. So your sub syllabus completion is getting 60% weightage only. Now let's just say there is a particular topic combination circuit. So combination circuit will be asked for two marks in your CS paper. I am assuming that combination circuit is asked for two marks in your CS paper. Two marks out of 100. Two marks out of 100. Is that clear to you? But 60% weightage is given to the syllabus completion. No. So two marks out of 100 multiply with 60. That means digital that means this combination circuit will be getting 1.2% weightage are you able to understand this point so i want the text in this manner 
aptitude is asked for 15 marks right aptitude will be asked for 15 marks but out of 100 but you are giving 60 percent weightage to syllabus completion that means that 50 percent will be reduced to 9 percent because 15 into 6 that would be 90 that means 9 percent that will be reduced to is that clear to you is that clear what i am saying syllabus completion is getting 60 percent weightage no so 50 15 marks out of 100 will be reduced to 9 marks out of 60. So, in that manner, I want a particular text where you have written the weightage of each particular topic. Let's just say there is a subject digital logic. In digital logic, you will be having basics of Boolean algebra, logic gates. Next chapter would be combination circuit. Then there would be a chapter of sequential circuits. So, in that manner, I want weightage of each particular topic. So, I will be able to make this kind of preparation tracker for you guys. So, one of the student have to message me on telegram there is a channel named prep fusion p r e p f u s i o n so there you write down that uh, sir this much weightage is there you can make the tracker for me so i will surely make the tracker for all the ca student is that clear to you so this job you guys need to do and then i will be able to make it so i hope you guys uh, liked this uh, gate uh, test series tracker and uh, yeah that's it so uh, all the branches guy can utilize it and you guys can share it with everyone so that uh, everyone would be able to see their performance and secondly this uh, performance no one would be able to see like even i will not be able to receive this data so this is completely anonymous here you are not putting your name nothing right you don't even have to log in here so this data will be completely anonymous even i will also not be able to see this particular data so it is only known to you whether it is for test series tracker or it is for the preparation tracker for gate ec for gate electrical no one would be able to see your performance only you will be able to see your performance okay yeah so that's it yeah thank you very much happy learning